Okay, I just pulled up here uh, as I was driving down this dirt road. There was a badger digging on the side of the road right here. And it's a pretty cool little spot right up here. That dark spot right about there. So that's where the badger was. And as I pulled up, he got kind of nervous, so he wandered off. So I'm going to hang here for a minute, quietly, once I get done talking. And see if he comes back to this little hole he was digging in. And I, I hope he will, because that would be cool. Because it's very close to the road. And nice clean shot with nothing in the way, so I have the potential to get some really nice close-up stuff of a badger digging, which would be great. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to get everything set up. So if he shows up, it's boom, I'm ready to go. My exposure. I'm going to crank up the ISO here because this is in the shade and badgers are moving pretty quick. So I want to make sure I get nice fast shutter speed. So I'm going to shoot ISO 1600 and this will be wide open. And uh, it's very neutral, so zero on exposure compensation here should be perfect. The, the white of the badger will be nice and bright that way. It'll be great. Okay, the badger's back. I see him moving through the grass headed this direction. seem to have much luck with badgers being tolerant of humans. I have a feeling if I got out of my car here, he would be gone. He would that would freak him out, but he lives right along this dirt road apparently, or he's used to digging here, so with the car he like he ran away for a few minutes and then came right back. So he must be kinda used to vehicles, but Probably a person on foot would be a bit more threatening. So I'm going to stay in my vehicle here. I've got a great shot. He's being cooperative. Everything's cool. So he's got his face buried in that hole. I can just see the tip of his tail sticking out of the hole. So I'm taking a little pause in shooting here. I'm trying to shoot this a couple of different ways. So I've got this great zoom, a 150 to 600 millimeter range, so I'm trying to shoot some like at full 600 millimeters, try and get almost a full frame headshot. Um, and then I'm also backing away to try and include a little bit more of the environment, because where he's digging, right, right above the hole that he's digging in, there's some grasses and stuff that are interesting from an environmental perspective, just to show a little bit more about where, where the badger's digging, so it's a pretty cool little shot. So I'm doing, shoot some vertical, some horizontal, some in tight, some out wide. And that's kind of how I like to shoot everything. Really make sure, uh, unless it's real obvious what the, sh the, you know, the best shot is, I really like to shoot it as many different ways as I can. And this one, he's given me lots of opportunities to shoot it, which is great. But uh, he's coming back out, so I'm going to put this away. So he's, he, he like digs in and then he shoots, you know, he pushes all the dirt out and then he comes out and looks around, gives me a, a second or two to shoot him and then he dives right back in the hole, digs some more. So I can talk while his head is buried in the, in the dirt there. He doesn't know what's going on out here. And then when I see him coming out, I get my cram camera ready to shoot.
cool. That was fun. So what happened here? The badger's gone. Uh, it went way up the hill. You, I could see it go way up through the grass. I could see the grass moving, and it disappeared uh, about 50 yards up there before I lost sight of it. So uh, another car drove by and saw me sitting here shooting the badger, and then they got out of their car, and bam, badger took off like a speeding bullet. So that's kind of how it goes sometimes, but I had a great few minutes with this badger, so that was fun. Uh, I think I got some fun pictures out of it, too. Um, the light was nice and flat, good for close-up portraiture, not super interesting, but uh, man, a great little spot here. So that was cool, a nice, nice little... Um, Nice little treat as I drove down the road here looking for critters, and I found a critter. Good times.